You must be very excited. I am. I've wanted one my whole life. Oh, that whole time. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Hey, what's all the fuss about? Ta-da! Uh, I don't see anything. Look closer, Blythe. Down here. All I see is an ant. Hey, she got it on the first guess. This is my new pet. Her name's Coconut. Oh, isn't she cute? Well, she has a cute name, but she's an ant. And where there's one ant, there's usually... Four ants! Ah! Ant alert! Ant alert! Uh-oh. Mrs. Twombly, we've got ants! You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. shop is closed for the next three days? I'm afraid so. Aunt Annie says she'll need 72 hours to gather up all our ants. You get all the sweeties into the littlest pet shuttle. I'll get their owners up to speed. Well, pets, it looks like we'll have to find a place for you guys to hang out for the next three days. Blythe, is Coconut gonna be okay? She'll be fine, Pennyling. Aunt Annie's ant relocators specializes in rounding up ants and relocating them to ant farms where they can be anti. Ooh, that sounds nice. I think it sounds disgusting. Um, Blythe, there's only one other local place I can think of that has a pet day camp. Mrs. Twombly, please don't say largest ever pet shop. Well, where were you thinking? Largest ever pet shop? I'm sorry, dear. You said not to say it, and I did. That is not an option, Mrs. Twombly. Of course not. You're absolutely right. Not an option. <gasps> Sophie! Blythe, get your internets. My dear old friend Sophie is the perfect place to board the sweeties. She used to anyway. I haven't seen her in a while. Sophie runs a place called the Paza Hotel. Look it up and see if they have one of those interweb screen thingies. You mean a website? If you say so. The Paza Hotel. Here it is. Wow, it's beautiful. The Paza Hotel is a five-star pet luxury hotel. It has a private spa, luxury suites, crystal chandeliers, even tennis courts. It sounds really fancy. It sounds like my kind of place. Well, here we are. The Pause. Uh, I hate to state the obvious, but it doesn't look anything like the pictures. Well, there must be something wrong with your internets. Hello? Anyone here? I mean, other than us, of course. I'm in the back. So. Anna Twombly? Is it really you? It's not only me, it's also Blythe and our day campers sweeties from the Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, how wonderful! Oh, but I'm afraid you've caught us in the middle of things. Us? Oh, yes. This is my assistant. Madison and I were just doing some renovations. Hi, Mrs. Twombly. Hi, Blythe. Oh, hi, Madison. What are you doing here? Well, we're trying to make this place look as good as I made it look on the website, which is kind of hard. You designed the website? It does make the pause look good. Madison got a tad bit carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm actually too good at my job. We've had people calling all week wanting to board their pets at our luxury hotel, but we're just not ready. Oh, the thought of all those lost customers. Oh, Soph, I know how hard it is to keep a business running in this town. Let us help you. Oh, 
No, no, it's too much. But we insist. We'd love to help out. That would be wonderful. So, do you know anything about carpentry, plumbing, or electrical? Uh, no, but I know a guy who does. Hi, Dad. What you doing for the next 72 hours? <laughs> I've heard of dust bunnies, but these are like dust buffaloes. I'll go look for a dust pan. Or a dust wagon. See, because there's so much dust, a dust pan wouldn't be enough. <laughs> oh, I totally get it. But you really should quit with the clowning and get with the cleaning. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on, Come on. Come on. Yeah. Let's get serious! Okay, okay. Sheesh. O-M-G. Ow, oh, Whitney! What's the big idea? Stop! No, don't stop. I am under strict doctor's orders to bike ride one hour every day. What is the littlest pet shop shuttle doing here? Hmm, what are you up to, Twombly? Transfer, my phone, toot sweet! Hello, Littlest Pet Shop. I mean, hotel. Wait, I didn't say that right. I'll try again. Littlest Pet Shop Hotel. Wait, what's the name of this place? Sorry, I'm not used to answering the phones here. My name is Blythe. How may I direct your call? Hello? Littlest Pet Shop Hotel? Daddy, why did you just hang up on Blythe? Why didn't you say something? Yeah, like... How did you get your own hotel, Blythe? Probably mm, stole my idea! She can't open a pet hotel before I do. Come, girls, time for lunch. Transform to the bistro! Mr. Dale. Mr. Biscuit, how are you today? Not well, which is why I've contacted you. I have a special project requiring your unique talents. The Littlest Pet Hotel must never open. At least not until I open my pet hotel first. Behold, the largest ever pet hotel. 20 stories, 200 rooms, separate dining areas for herbivores and carnivores, a nightclub for nocturnals, a game room for game animals, a mile-high aviary, a mile-deep burrow for rabbits, and a card room just for doggies. Dogs play cards? Mm. Your dream is very inspiring, Mr. Biscuit. Do not worry. I will take care of this. I thought you could. Then you shall have it. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Your biscuits and getting what we want is our business. It's time you learn the secret to biscuit success. When you're in business, the biscuit family business, there are watchwords you will need to comprehend. Intelligence and obedience, confidence and allegiance, with a sousa of clairvoyance at the end. Embrace your inner villainy, release your inner ignominy. If you don't know what that means, then ask a friend. What does he mean? Can't he talk to me? We make choices for expedience. Forget if it's exorbitant. If convenience is convenient, that's the price. I mean, when you're in business, the biscuit family business, you do not let your conscience make you nice. But we're so nice, maybe too nice. We want to be in the business, the biscuit family business. We want to do whatever we must do. If your desire is for permanence, yes. relevance and predominance, yes. the biscuit family business is for you. A biscuit gets what a biscuit wants. A biscuit takes and a biscuit flaunts. We brag, we 
real. It's how we keep it real. How we keep it real. By Jove, I think they've got it. When you're in business, the Biscuit Family business, there are some words that you need to comprehend. Intelligence and obedience, confidence and allegiance, with a seesaw of clairvoyance now and then. We won't be slowed by the consequence, or be swayed by the eloquence of the enemy of our enemy. That's our friend. And that's the end. I can't believe I'm about to do this, but somebody's got to clean these stairs. I wonder if any of Coconut's ant friends are here. Marto! Bolo! <coughs> yeah, it's pretty dusty in there, too. <laughs> <sighs> you know, Zoe, we may not have a lot in common, but we're both allergic to work. Huh? <laughs> Something smells, and it's not you. Excuse me, young lady. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not open for business just yet. And you won't be either. Excuse me? I'm from the downtown city inspector's office of inspection. Is this about the website? Because... And I can tell you, this hotel will never open. Wait, this must be a misunderstanding. Let me get the owner. Yeah, I don't need the owner. You tell them, for me, that I'll be back tomorrow for a full inspection. Tomorrow? But we need weeks, months, years maybe. Tomorrow. And if I see anything not up to code during my inspection, I'm shutting this place down. But you can't! Oh, I can. Have a nice day. Sophie, Mrs. Twombly, Dad, Madison! Hmm, there is something strangely familiar about that man's smell. Hmm. Come on, let's go tell Blythe. So he said he was a building inspector and that he'll be back tomorrow for his inspection. How unexpected. <laughs> Not right now, Zoe. I'll take you for a walk in a minute. Ah, <laughs> got that third floor toilet to flush. Who the man? <laughs> now, on to the electrical. <laughs> Dad, an inspector stopped by and he wants to close the pause down. But we're just getting started. Oh, Blythe, do you know how to fix this? Oh. <laughs> I found a dustpan. Madison, I need to stay here and help my dad. Can you please take Zoe and Pepper out for a walk? Uh, isn't that one a skunk? Don't worry, she doesn't bite. It's not the biting that I'm worried about. Hey, no pulling! Ah! Not this way! That way! <laughs> Look, Pepper, it's that building inspector! <gasps> and he's with Fisher Biscuit! Of course! That's why that smell was so familiar! I smelled a biscuit! So, I was thinking my hotel would be just for cute animals, not for, like, uh, spiders. And I was thinking mine would be made out of, like, waterfalls, because that's never been done before. Why didn't you simply shut them down right there on the spot? I didn't want to arouse suspicion, but no matter what they do, that pet hotel will fail inspection and have to close its doors forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad, I was thinking, if we need to get this cable back inside the wall, it would be fastest to give it to someone who can fit inside the wall. Vinny, carry this up to the other side. It's 
like he understood you. <laughs> well, he's just really smart. Oh, I knew it. Hey, maybe we can rewire the whole place this way. Maybe. <laughs> right back. I left something in the shuttle. Okay, Spill. It's that Dale guy. He's not a real building inspector. Wh whatever that is. And he works for Fisher Biscuit! What the what? They want to close the plaza down! Because it sounds like the twins are going to open their own pet hotels! Oh, those biscuits. Just hold up your side a little higher, Roger. Hey, everybody. You won't believe what I just found out. That inspector, Mr. Dale, is a fake. He's working with Fisher Biscuit, who wants to put the Paza out of business. Who told you such a thing? Um, well, I, uh, I just know. Well, it sure would be nice if this were all a practical joke, but guys with badges are usually not the kind of joke. Besides, Blythe, grown men don't go around pretending to be someone they're not. Well, how about that time Mr. Biscuit pretended to be his butler, and his butler pretended to be a photographer? Hmm. Good point. Even so, we need to get this place ready, just in case he's a real inspector. Of course. Me and my silly ideas. I'm sure Mr. Dale is the real deal. In fact, I'd like to volunteer to show him around when he comes back. Hmm. I suppose you two do have a history. Okay, pets. That so-called inspector will be here tomorrow, and there's lots to do. I think the best way to beat this fake hotel inspector is with a fake hotel. Great! Uh, what's a fake hotel? It's complicated. So let me go over my plan from the beginning. Okay, here's what we're going to do. First of all, here. Oh, there's that fake inspector. Better take your places. Well, hello, Mr. Dale. How can I help you? I am back for my building inspection. Oh, right, because you're the building inspector. Are you sure you're a real building inspector, Mr. Dale? Yeah, of course, and I'm in a hurry, young lady, so please let me see your owner. That won't be necessary. If you insist on doing this inspection, and are you still insisting on doing this inspection? Uh, yes. <sighs> Very well, then. You leave me no choice. Follow me. Let's begin with the rooftop tennis court. Oh, Mr. Dale! You have got to be more careful. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have to go on if you'll just admit who you really are. I'm the building inspector! Then let's keep inspecting. This door leads to our swimming pool. I hate getting water in my eyes! Well, we can stop then. As soon as you admit who you really are. I'm Mr. Dale, building inspector. Okay, have it your way. I'm sure you'll want to inspect our indoor ice skating rink. Oh, Mr. Dale, I should have warned you. These pets play a very aggressive game of ice hockey. That does it! I'm shutting this place down! You can't shut us down because you're not a real building inspector! Admit it! I admit nothing! Except myself, out this door. Oh no, Mr. Dale! Don't open that door! <laughs> I tried to warn you. That's a supply closet. Enough! I give up! So is there something you'd like to confess? Okay, okay, I admit it! I'm not really a building inspector. This was all a scam by my secret employer, Fisher Biscuit. <laughs> he wants to have the most successful pet hotel in downtown city. And who can blame him? It's a genius idea. 
I was hired to shut your operation down. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you and these meddling pets. Blythe, you were right. Mr. Dale was a fake. How did you know? Well, uh, I, I just... You just knew, right, dear? Right, Mrs. Twombly. Everybody, I owe you all such a debt of thanks, especially Madison. Me? Yes, dear. Without your vision of what this could be, we never could have made it happen. Wow, I guess you're kind of right. Yay, me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we thought Blythe had her own hotel. So why is she, like, working there? Maybe she's doing that thing she does where she's, like, nice to people or whatever. For, like, free? Ew! Come, driver! Yes, Mom. 